What if I told you Samsung Galaxy already has features that can lock apps, block almost every ad, and turn any image into a wallpaper, and even pin important info directly to your home screen. And you might not just be using any of them. Thank you so much for over 325 likes on the last video. You guys honestly never disappoint. So let's push it even further, 350 likes on this one. So if this video helps you out, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It supports the channel more than you think. Like always, some of these features are brand new, while others are classic Samsung power tools. No matter what phone you're using, there is something here for everyone. So let's get into seven Samsung Galaxy features you need to start using. Feature number one is your app lock on your Samsung Galaxy device. So you hand your phone to a friend to show photos, but you don't want them opening WhatsApp, Instagram, or banking apps. Now, Samsung is officially introducing app lock in One UI 8.5, allowing you to lock individual apps using fingerprint, face unlock, or PIN. But if you're on One UI 8.0, you can still get the same functionality using secure folder. So you can move the app into secure folder, create a secure folder app shortcut on your home screen, then lock the secure folder with biometrics. To anyone else, it looks like a normal app, but it's fully protected. So let me show you how you can do this. Here's an example, we'll go ahead and use gallery. We'll go ahead and tap on this. As you can see, you can see all my photos and it's not securely protected. So in order to do this, we'll go ahead and open up secure folder. Go ahead and switch this on from the quick panel menu. Go ahead and enter in your pattern. So I've already set this up for myself. So now here you wanna go ahead and tap on the plus sign to add an app. My app is already there, which is gallery. So we'll go ahead and long press on this. And then we'll go ahead and tap on add to home. Let's go ahead and tap on add. So now once that's done, we'll press home. And now as you can see, a new icon has been added, gallery, and it has a secure folder icon just next to it at the bottom right. So now if anyone goes ahead and taps on that, he or she will require a biometrics pattern or maybe a pin number. Now next you wanna go ahead and open up your normal gallery app. Go ahead and open up your albums. Go ahead and select those pictures where you wanna move them to the gallery secure folder. So go ahead and select them, press more. And here you wanna go ahead and choose move to secure folder. So let's just go ahead and do some of these. Go ahead and give in your pattern. And now those items have been moved over to the secure folder. So now if I go ahead and open my secure folder, you'll see those images right there. Now next, what you can do is you can go ahead and delete this, remove it, or you can go ahead and hide this from your phone. So go ahead and long press on this, press settings, and then go ahead and hide apps on home and app screen, tap on that. Go ahead and find gallery and go ahead and hide this. So now when you go ahead and give this phone to anyone, he or she will try to maybe tap on gallery. However, this will now ask to enter in a pattern, pin, or your biometrics. I've chosen a pattern, so this person won't be able to view my photos without a valid pattern or a pin. So you get a true app level privacy without installing risky third-party apps. It's secure, system level protection that keeps your data safe while staying seamless and convenient. Now, feature number two is where you let Samsung create multiple wallpaper designs from one photo. So you have a great photo, maybe of yourself, your pet, your car, or a landscape, but you're not sure which wallpaper style looks best on your phone. So Samsung allows you to select a single photo and then automatically generate multiple wallpaper designs from it. So using AI, Samsung separates the subject from the background. It adds shapes behind the subject, applies different background colors and gradients, and this basically creates a multiple layout styles optimized for your lock screen and home screen. So you can go ahead and preview each design instantly and choose the one that fits your vibe. So let me show you how you can do this. Here's an example, we'll go ahead and choose this as a wallpaper. So if I go ahead and tap on set as wallpaper, we'll go ahead and set it for our lock screen. As you can see, it looks very boring and dull. So instead of leaving that wallpaper like this, you can go ahead and tap on suggest just here at the bottom. Tap on this. And this will basically now play around with your wallpaper. So as you can see, it has clipped the subject and it's basically added a heart. It's basically changed the clock for you as well. If you go ahead and swipe left, it'll give you a different color background. It will try to match what's in your picture. As you can see, this is another wallpaper. The time has basically been changed here. If you don't like what you're seeing here, you can go ahead and tap on suggest again, and you can go ahead and see all the designs it will suggest to you. 
Again, I don't like what I'm seeing. I really like this one, so I can go ahead and choose that and press apply. So this gives you a professional looking custom wallpaper without needing any editing apps. So instead of searching for new wallpapers, you can reuse your favorite photos, instantly refresh your phone's look, match your wallpaper to your mood or theme. It's fast, creative, and it makes your Galaxy feel truly personal every time you unlock it. Now, feature number three is where you can create perfect squares and circles with your S Pen. So you're taking note, sketching ideas, or planning something, but your shapes never look clean. So with your Samsung's S Pen shape correction, you can draw rough circles, squares, or rectangles, and the system automatically converts them into perfect shapes. So you just draw naturally, and Samsung handles the precision. So here, I'll just go ahead and try to draw a cube on screen, and let's see how it goes. So for this, I'll just go ahead and speed the footage up for you guys. And there you go. So as you can see, this is a cube. And to be honest, I cannot believe I actually drew that cube on my phone screen. So here, I'll show you how I did it. So as you're drawing, you can go ahead and draw a square. So instead of lifting a pen, just go ahead and create the square and then go ahead and leave it. So as you can see, it's created me a straight rectangle. So let's go ahead and try this on a circle. Just hold it there and there you go. Let's go ahead and create a triangle. So as you can see, this is ideal for students, designers and professionals. So your notes and diagram looks clean, readable and professional, even if your handwriting isn't perfect. Now, feature number four is where you can block ads using private DNS and disabling Google personalization. So you open apps or games and get hit with pop-ups, banners, and video ads. So Samsung lets you block ads system-wide by setting private DNS to a URL, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. And for extra protection, you can go ahead and disable Google ad personalization. So this works across apps, browsers, and games, and no extra software is needed. So first, go ahead and open up settings, scroll down and find connection. From here, scroll down and find more connection settings. Now find private DNS. Tap on this, then tap on private DNS provider host name. Here you need to go ahead and enter the following, dns.adguard.com. Enter that and then press save. Now that's done, press home. Now go ahead and open up settings again. Scroll down and find Google. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and tap on all services. Now here, go ahead and scroll down and find ads in privacy and security. Tap on this. Here you wanna go ahead and tap on delete advertising ID. Go ahead and tap on delete it. So as it reads here, apps use a unique device advertising ID to show you personalized ads. So when you get a new advertising ID, you may see more relevant ads, which help support free content and services. So as you can see, we have deleted our advertising ID and we don't want to get a new advertising ID. So with this, you get fewer distractions, faster loading speed and better battery life on apps. So it dramatically cleans up your phone experience and works almost 100% of the time. Now feature number five is where you can customize your contact profile card. So your call screen looks boring and all contacts looks the same. Well, Samsung lets you customize contact profile cards with custom photos, personalized text styles, and different visual layouts. Your contacts now have a personality. So to do this, we'll go ahead and open up our phone app, tap on contacts, and here we'll go ahead and edit a contact. So for example, this person here. We'll tap on edit, and now this is your contacts profile card. So go ahead and tap on this. So as you can see, when a phone rings, this is what will come up on your screen. Now, if you wanna go ahead and change this, you can go ahead and tap on change image and go ahead and change it to what you like. Next, you can go ahead and resize this and move it anywhere you like. Then you wanna go ahead and tap on effects and it can apply effects on it to make it look nice. So this is what it looks like right now. If you go ahead and swipe left, you can go ahead and choose the blur effect. You can do the grayscale, color, ink, pastel, and many other effects here. I'll go ahead and change the background to a blue color. Tap on apply. Now, if you have chosen a photo, however, you don't like what you're seeing here, you can go ahead and apply Portrait Studio to that photo. So you can go ahead and change it into comic, 3D cartoon, watercolor, or a sketch. Let's go ahead and change this into a comic. Tap on generate. So this is how it looks like. If you wanna go ahead and press apply, this will apply that to your contact card. Next, you can go ahead and choose on text and you can go ahead and change the font. 
you can go and change if you want thin fonts or bold and you can go and change the color as well i've left it to a which is automatic so the color will adapt to your photos on your profile card and now once you're happy with this tap done and now your profile card has been changed go ahead and press save and now when the person calls this is what you'll get on screen as you can see this is how it looked like on the s25 ultra and if you have a fold this is how it looks like so it makes calling and messaging more visual personal and intuitive helping you recognize people instantly and enjoy a more polished ui now feature number six is where you can set wallpapers from anywhere using ai select so you find the perfect image online but downloading and cropping it feels like a hassle so with ai select you can grab any image from browsers pin interest social media apps like facebook or tiktok or instagram and then instantly set it as your wallpaper no downloads is required so here's an example we'll go ahead and open up google chrome and i've just gone ahead and browsed to pixel.com i found a picture here i want to go ahead and set this as my wallpaper so to do this i can go ahead and open up my edge panel tap on ai select go ahead and select this wallpaper and then go ahead and tap on the three dots and then set it as a wallpaper for my screen so i'll go ahead and choose a lock screen tap next and as you can see it has been set i can press done so that wallpaper has been now set it's that simple let me go ahead and show you how you can do this from maybe pin interest from my app so here i've just basically searched for a seaside let's go ahead and set this here we can go ahead and use ai select again go ahead and select this tap on the three dots then tap on set as wallpaper and now go ahead and tap on next and now that wallpaper has been set so you can turn anything you see into a wallpaper instantly saving time and unlocking unlimited customization on your samsung galaxy device feature number seven is your ai select pin screenshots to your home screen so you need a quick access to flight tickets maybe motivational quotes or product comparison so ai select allows you to pin screenshots directly to your home screen keeping important visuals visible at all times. So your home screen becomes a smart information hub, reducing app switching and helping you stay organized and focused. So here is an example. You can go ahead and open up Google Chrome and I basically searched a air ticket from London to Dubai. So as you can see, this is giving me some prices. So I can go ahead and use AI select. Let's go ahead and circle around this time and the price and then go ahead and tap on pin so now this is pinned so i can go ahead and minimize this for now put it here now go ahead and open up sky scanner now from here i can go ahead and do another search now like this i can go ahead and compare the prices so from virgin website i'm getting a price of 411 however from sky scanner the cheapest i'm getting is 383. So like this, I can go ahead and find out which is the cheapest and book the ticket from the appropriate one. So like this, you have a pinned screenshot, which you can go ahead and move anywhere you like. You can go ahead and minimize this, or you can go ahead and save this to your gallery for future use. Or if you have a code over here, you can go ahead and use this text tool. If you want to go ahead and close this, go ahead and press X and that will close everything. Another good use of this is to put motivational quotes on your home screen. So say for example, I wanna go ahead and put this, if you believe in yourself, anything is possible. So this is one of the quotes which I found online. You can go ahead and use AI select, go ahead and select it. So let's go ahead and just make it slightly smaller and then tap on pin. So as you can see, it's now pinned to my home screen. If I tap home, I can go ahead and move it anywhere I like, go ahead and open up other apps and that won't close at all. Like this, I can go ahead and pin two screenshots to screen and then go ahead and use my phone as normal. Now I can go ahead and minimize these screenshots so they're not in the way. And I can go ahead and place them just like icons on your home screen. I can go ahead and lock my phone. And when I go ahead and return back to the home screen, you'll see that those pinned screenshots are still there. So if you wanna go ahead and remind yourself of the quote, go ahead and tap on it, read it, then go ahead and minimize this again. Now, once you're done, go ahead and tap on it and then go ahead and exit. So that'll close it. 
So your home screen becomes a smart information hub, reducing app switching and helping you stay organized and more focused. And that's it, seven powerful Samsung features that can genuinely improve how you use your phone every single day. So if you learned even one thing new from this video, please make sure to drop a like. Remember the goal is 350 likes on this one. Comment below and let me know which feature was your favorite or if there's a Samsung tip you want me to cover next. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss future videos packed with hidden features, tips and updates. So your support really means a lot. Thanks for watching and thanks for supporting the channel and I'll see you in the next Samsung Galaxy video.